The IntelliTrack AI Tracker is a brand new tool for DaVinci Resolve 19. It is a part of the DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine tool, so I do believe you still need Studio for it, but it's pretty awesome. It works on the Fusion, the Color, and the Fairlight pages. I'm going to show you all three of them. If there's one page that you prefer seeing over the others, uh, you can jump to it by the timestamp down below. But I highly suggest watching all three because it is a super simple way to track things on all three pages. Uh, all of the old trackers still do exist, but this is just a simpler way of tracking. Let's just jump right in with throwing the media onto the timeline. Don't know what's going on there. And all we have is just a car driving on a race course and or racetrack. And uh, we're just going to be tracking that on all three pages. Jumping over into Fusion, this is just going to be the normal tracker node. And in the normal tracker node, we'll now have that IntelliTrack uh, tracker in here. If you want one of the old uh, point trackers, we have that. As you can see, the amount of options that are here compared to IntelliTrack, there's far less, uh, but it is a quick tracker. So let's come back to the beginning. Here we are. I'm just going to pick my car first frame. I'm going to skip a couple of frames just to make this go a little quicker, and we'll just go across. We should be fine for the majority of this track. It might slide around a little bit if you're doing very specific compositing. Probably want to track a little bit more uh, precise than just every four frames, but I think that you'll get the point across how this works. So once we do that, uh, all we're going to do now is just, I'm just going to grab some text and throw some text over this whole shot. So we'll just connect this, whoops, I will just connect this in and we will just say that this is car 55 and in our tracker, we'll just grab that tracking data. We'll just go insert publish down here. We will then go to connect to tracker pub or uh, position and we'll bring that up. And just like that, now we have uh, some text tracked in. So that's how the tracker works over here on the Fusion page. It's just within the norm tracker node, um, just a different way of tracking. In color, we still have all of the old track methods, as you can see here, but we have IntelliTrack. So let's first go back, and what we'll do is we'll take our car here, and let's throw a power window up. You do need a power window, right? Because you need to know what you're actually tracking. And let's uh, change the color of this car. So I will just come over here and we'll go hue versus hue, grab that hue, and let's make it a green car. Perfect. All right, so from there, let's go back over here and we will just grab IntelliTrack. It works just like the point tracker does. So we'll grab our points. We will then select the thing that we want to track or put our point on the thing we want to track and then we will just track that all the way through the shot, just like that. So works pretty much the same way as the point tracker works. It's just a different tool behind the scenes uh, for this. So there we are. If we just create the notes without seeing that, there is our green car tracked. So there's two of the trackers. And now let's jump into the third tracker, which is the Fairlight tracker. But so let's come over here. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to change this just so that it sounds completely mono and we don't hear anything else. We are going into a stereo track here, but we just want mono audio so we can hear that. Let's undim this. So you probably want headphones so that you can hear this, but uh, as you can see in our mixer here, it is completely mono. So let's change that on this particular track based off of where the position of this car. So over here in Fairlight, what we'll wanna do is, first let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. We'll come to the beginning and we'll pick wherever we want the tracker to be, right? So we have to pick in and out points for the tracker, pick the particular track that you want the tracker to run on and affect. And then I'm just going to open up the viewer a little bit and in the viewer, we're going to come up here and we're going to grab our tracking tools. I'll click auto and let's come back to the beginning here. That's not the beginning. There we are. So we'll come back to the beginning. We'll grab a little tracker. We'll put it right on the car. And now you can say how you want it to uh, track the audio. Because we're really only doing left to right, that's all I'm going to select here. And then hit track. 
it's going to be you doing pretty much the same thing that we did on the other pages. But what it's doing behind the scenes is it's using this tracking data to automatically generate automation, like an automation track. I'll open this up so you can see what is actually happening here. So if you've never seen this before, maybe 3D makes it a little easier to see. This blue dot is our audio source and where it's currently, where we're listening to it, here is the person, right? So the majority of the sound's going to be uh, for the left ear. And as we go through here, it's in the middle now. Now it's going more towards the right ear. So you can see that over here in our uh, bus where that is being affected there. And like I said, this is just adding in automation data. So if we open this up and we take a little look in the pan left, right, we can see that automation that was automatically generated based off of a visual tracker for the audio. I think that this is going to save a lot of time instead of having to always draw in your automations or record your automations. And so that is the IntelliTracker AI Point Tracker. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, come over to Post Pro List. Ask me some questions over there. We'll be discussing all the new updates for DaVinci Resolve 19. If you wanna know more about other DaVinci Resolve 19 updates and how to use the new tools, definitely take a look below where I have a couple of different playlists going over all the new tools and how to use them. But with that being said, my name is Justin Robinson. Thanks so much for watching. Until next one, guys. See ya.